Hey guys, and welcome to Velvet Hammer Fitness. Well, today we're making an investment, and hopefully it's an investment that will yield a lot of wonderful returns for us, okay? We have a completely body weight workout that we are going to strap on our weighted vest with, thus the term investment. If you don't have a weighted vest, don't worry about it. I'm also going to use my uh, plyo box for some step up moves and some dips. So if you don't have a sturdy elevation, don't worry about it. Just do some lunges on the ground, some squats, something that is challenging to your lower body and you'll be just fine. You could also do tricep push-ups to sub out for those tricep dips. So other than that, you'll definitely need a lot of water today and you'll need your can-do attitude strapped on. So when you have all of that ready and you're ready to warm up with me and to make this very wise investment, I will see you back here for your warm up. All right, guys, let's get this party started with a good warm up. All right, we're going to start by doing what I call the old lady dance. We're going to loosen up and warm up our connective tissue in our knees and ankles by just making small circles. If you're wondering why my hands are bright pink, it's because I've been making some fruit skewers for Easter. If we switch directions. Skewers look fancy and they look super like you took a lot of effort and you really didn't and they're healthy and they're fun and hopefully your kids won't use them as swords. Do one more. Alright, we'll take those hips and warm them up. Big circles. So I made mine and I thought, oh, I'll put a little bunny peep at the top because I think usually the only good use for a peep is to throw it in the trash. But I thought, oh, those look really cute on top of these skewers. Well, all I had left by the time I went to the store were these red hot peeps, like extremely flaming hot peeps, and they were duck, so <laughs> my skewers look a little bit evil, but that really wasn't my intention, so uh, this year <laughs> hasn't gone as planned in any way. One more each side. Good. Take them out wide. We're going to go toe to toe. Bloom here, the daffodils are blooming. Beautiful Bradford pear trees are blooming. But that also means that my allergies are blooming, so I may have some twitchy nose motions with this workout today. I usually take a picture of my kids every year in the daffodils, and I don't really have anyone to do that now. This is a bit of a bummer, but let's start some new traditions. Alright, big circles on the arms. Alright, switch directions. Don't laugh at my Cabbage Patch Kid belly button after I had my babies. My innie turned into an outing real quick. One more circle. Good. Let's take some rear tap back. Chest up. One more each side. Good. Let's do some push ups. How about that? Hope you can see me. I think I might turn around so that you can actually see me pushing up here. We're going to do one on our knees first. Push up. I don't have a kitty cat with me today. Thank God. This is the time of day because I'm going in the afternoon. But she gets super crazy. Good. Let's get up. I have more 
marks on me from her little needle teeth <laughs> than I had from any other animal besides the hamster that I've ever owned. Tight core. Good. All right. Your warm up is all finished. Our first set is going to be a 40 20 hit set, okay? So we're going to get our vest on. You're going to do these moves twice. Should be a lot of fun. Getting my timer ready. You get a drink. All right, guys, I got my vest on. I hope you do too if you have one. We have 20 seconds where we have to get started. Before we have to get started, we are doing touchdowns first, and then we're going to go into some inchworms, okay? So, here we go. Five seconds. So you're just going to touch down here and here, okay? Here we go, 40 seconds. Get that head up so you can make awkward eye contact. It never gets old for me. About every third move, we'll have some step up. Because right now, you're welcome. You'll notice that the vest might slow you down a little bit. It causes you to get winded faster. We are investing in high intensity training today. Not a long workout. Hopefully, a poignant one. Good. You can repeat this as many times as you want. We're doing inchworms next. Squeeze it out. Four, three, two, one. Walk it down. Push up. Walk it up. Up. 13 seconds to go. You got this. You won. Good. In 20 seconds, we're going to step up. I'm going to alternate. Here we go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm on my 20 inch side. You can do 24. No matter how fit I am, going up the stairs or doing the stairmaster always gets me winded. So it's always a good challenge, especially with the weight on your back. You don't have your weight back here. You can use some dumbbells. Three, two, one. Good. Very good. We're going to alternate. Curtsies. There we go. Keeping that chest up. You can still hinge forward at the hips, okay, while keeping your chest up. Just because you're hinging that hip forward doesn't mean that your chest has to be all the way forward. I missed the dip. Whoops. What do we dip next? Four, three, two, and one. Good. All right. Confession is good for the soul. 
back and back that I just did. Tricep. In chest yesterday. So I'm not going to be super good at these. But I'm going to try my best. Okay? That's all I ever expected you. I'm going to keep my knees in for a while. <laughs> If you're more advanced, take those knees out, straighten your legs. Good times. Keep your back close to your elevation, arms in tight. 15 to go. Pulses on the left. We're getting that left leg forward. We're just going to pull for 40 seconds. Just like it sounds. Here we go. Sink into it. Oh, and that 40 seconds is yours. Nobody else's. No one can take it from you. Even your kids. <laughs> You can always pause me and come back to your 40 seconds.
do my stuff that pays the bills, and then my passion project. This is this comes next. Three, two, one. You can always add that knee drive. So we're going to focus more on the glutes. Really slow, lower down. Cardiovascular challenge for you. You could always do more rounds. You could do something in your rest period to make it no rest, like more step ups or lunges, lunge pulses. We're going to curtsy next. You can always hold it up if you get into a bind. Think about those triceps. 
modify if you need to. Mine are crispy from yesterday. Three, two, one. Good. Alternating curtsies. I can't French braid on myself. I did this little twisty thing at the top. And I sort of feel like my hair is fancy today. So, I'm feeling a little impressed with myself. Um, probably won't last long. <laughs> Really keep that chest up as you reach and keep those hips forward as you curse me. Okay. So those glutes. You can add a hop if you like. And curse these. Alright, we're gonna step up next. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Step up again. Maybe you're not stepping up, maybe you're lunging. Whatever you're doing, I'm sure it's magnificent. Keep it up. Yeah. You may be on a taller 20 inches now. You got a vest on. It'd be a fun one with the kettlebell right here. Two dumbbells on your shoulders. If you need more, get more. If you need less, get less. Figure out what high intensity is for you today. Okay? Good. I had a client whose heart rate got a lot higher when she did push ups than when she did anything with her legs. So, just know that we're all different. The things that challenge me may not challenge you, and vice versa. So just be you. Be proud of what you can do today, okay? Here we go. Lunge pulse is left. Forward. Straight up and down. forward a little bit more, lift the butt, get a little more glute there, if you want, that's a good time, instead of just going straight up and down, oh yeah, pretty time, so why not, why wouldn't you try to make a move harder than it already is, two, one, ah, nice, all right, we have push back, push up, Breathe it out. The last time we have to do these moves. Here we go. We're going to push up. Push it back. You don't have to do 6,000 of these. You really just need to maintain good form. Push back is hard. What I want you to do is just sit your hips back. Just like that, okay? Very good. You don't have to do those anymore unless you want to. Alright. Lunge pulse is on the right. And then step up. Then we got abs. Up. Right leg is forward. Here we go. So you can either, again, take it straight up and down, just like we were. Or you can send it into hamstring and glute fun land in the sublet. Yeah. Good. Whew, shake it out. 
side. We have step up for the last time. Take a drink and we'll get going. I think we're going to have some alternating side plate to bottom because why not? There we go. Very good. You're all finished with this. I'm going to switch out my timer, make sure that my camera's ready, and I'll see you back here for some abs Tabata. Off the job. All right, guys, it's core Tabata time. We are starting off with some side plank Tabata pairs. So left side, right side, that's all you have to know. The next Tabata pair is just going to be core Tabata. So we're going to do a round of applauses with these crazy vests on and knee pull-ins, okay? Lots of different modifications for these that we will go over as we go, okay? For now, you have 10 seconds. I'm going to start on my left side. And we're going to do some side planking. Now, if you're new at side planking, you are going to make sure that you push up and have your bottom knee on the ground, okay? If you're a little more advanced, come up with staggered feet. If you're the most advanced, you're going to stack your feet, okay? You can also do this on your palm with an arm straight. Good. Always good to get some isometric movement or lack of movement on there. As you can tell, everybody's riding their motorcycles here on the speedway outside my house. I love my apartment, but I'm kind of getting to the point where I would love to have a little more space Four, three, two, one. Good job. Going from 140 acres to no acres is a little hard in some ways and really good in others. So, kind of got to take what you got. As I always tell my kids, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Eight seconds, drive those hips up, and if somebody's pulling up with a string, you can do dips here if you don't like the isometric nature of this move. Side by side. Drive them up. That makes a difference, doesn't it? Make sure that shoulder's stacked. How you doing? Are you having fun? I bet you are. I know you guys are having a blast. You can't wait to do more and more rounds of this. Right? Here we go. What I do know is that you guys are super hard workers, so even if you don't like it, you're still doing it. Alright. Drive those hips up. Four, three, two, one. Good. Other side. Here we go. End of our third round here. Your obliques may be starting to get really, really tired. Your shoulders may be tired, but don't get up. Three, two, one. Good. Other side. Last round. You got this. Here we go. Drive it up. Keep up to that side. 
home. I take your mind off things. Four, three, two, one. Good. Last one on that side. Now we're going to the last one on this side. I have sweat in all the wrong places. Or maybe all the right places. Because <laughs> I'm working hard. All the in off the same places are the best. Description of that. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right. You have another Tabata pair to do. Let's just get it over with. For a new round of applause. So you're going to lean back, smack, smack. Okay? Here we go. You can hover those feet. Basically like a Russian twist with some oomph. Okay. You can absolutely put those heels on the ground. All right. We're doing knee pull-ins. If you are really good at cooking your vest on and off, you could strap your vest around your legs for this. So if you're more of a beginner, do one at a time. Okay. If you're super advanced, you can go all the way down, all the way up. Okay. Two, one. Good. All right, round of applause is rounds of applause. And how you twirl like that. You saw the lady who corrected my grammar all the time. If she's watching this video, I'm sure she'll let me know. <laughs> all in good fun. Five, four, three. Two, one. Good. Woo. Knee pulling. Four, three, two, one. We've gone through rounds one and two. We're just going to get through rounds three and four. Then we have our burnout. This is not a long workout, but it packs a punch. Three. Again, you'll be clapping when this is over, right? <laughs> Our burnout's gonna be fun. Here we go. It's gonna combine legs and upper body with push ups and squats. So, the two things that this vest makes harder leg movements and especially push up movements. Mm, good. Knee pull in. End of the third round. Only one more round after this interval. You got this. Here we go. Remember to do one leg at a time because it's getting rough. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. All right, one more round. You can make it through 40 more seconds of two different moves. I know you can. All right, here you go. Round of applause. And round of applause. That's going to bother me until I get it figured out. Get in seconds.
Then we do medium squats into medium or standard push-ups. Then we're going to do wide squats into wide push-ups, okay? Should be a lot of fun. Will be a lot of burn. So let's get to it. I got a weird loud advertisement on my <laughs> timer. So now we're going to get into your burnout. I'm sure you didn't want to hear that. Anyway, you have 10 seconds and we're getting into your narrow squat. If it can happen in the videos, it will happen. I've learned that the hard way. <laughs> Weird advertisement, crazy cat, something. Here we go, narrow squat. Really push the pace. Going into narrow push ups next. Push up through those heels. Four, three, two, one. Good. Turn that to my volume back up. All right. Narrow push ups or tricep push ups. Okay, here we go. push-ups or regular push-ups. Good job. There we go. A regular push-up. One more wide push up. Are you guys doing it as I am? Probably not. I'm extra tired today. There we go, wide push up. So I like to do it so that my fingers are pointing out to the side. strength if you want to. Call it a day if you want to. I am so proud of you. I want you to wipe it off and meet me back here for your cool down. Awesome job. All right guys, let's get a good cool down going and thank our amazing bodies for what they have done today. I just want you to start by reaching side to side.
we're going to hold it on this side, push up into the black, other side. with your shoulders. Sometimes we use those weighted vests so we do a lot of push-ups we get a lot of tension in our shoulders. Alright, reverse them. Alright, circle with the neck. Hand to the left side of the head and guiding the head down to the shoulder. And we're so gentle. Good. Other side. Good. Right arm across, like with the left. Look over the right shoulder. Reach around, pat yourself on the back. Cool. Other side. Reach around, pat yourself on the back. Release those fingers. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. All right. Take it out. I want you to place your hand on your wall. I want you to turn away from that hand. Stretching our chest here. And our biceps. Okay. So your arms can sit your there. Stand the position of it. Other side. Good. Stretch out those forearms. And then we forget about those guys. Other side. And this one up. You are all done for today. I hope you had a lot of fun with this workout. Let me know how you made it your own, and I'll see you back up at the camera for your send-off. All right, guys, awesome job crushing your investment workout. I hope you are already feeling the return on that investment. I hope that you really invested your time and effort into this workout because that's how we get the best returns on our investments, really putting ourselves into it. So. Now what I need you to do is, of course, drink a lot of water today, get a healthy post-workout meal on your plate, 30 to 90 minutes after this workout. I need you to stretch and foam roll some more if you need to. Tell your friends and family about us. 
because they need to be the healthiest versions of themselves too. That's a good investment for them as well. Also, check us out on Vimeo for our four-week program. We have a glute and a pipes program. Like and subscribe if you have not yet. And make sure to hit us up with any nutritional or online personal training needs. We'd be glad to help you there too. Other than that, love those difficult people. They are coming out of the woodwork and they are on the roads right now. I've noticed that I've been very, very testy as a driver and I need to make sure that I am extending love instead of bowling words at people on the road. So you do the same, okay? Make sure you have an amazing week and remember how amazing you are. And whether you felt like you invested wisely by spending your time on this workout or whether you felt like your energy stock market crashed, it is your health today and every day, so you know what you're going to do. You better hit it hard. Boom! Have an awesome day, guys, an awesome week. Show your rowdy belly buttons and be the cabbage patch that you are, and I will see you very soon. I'm always proud of you.